This is our second open house here at the Rio Grande City Boys and Girls Youth Club. It is our presentation of a whole new world, a mundo ideal in Portuguese. I enjoyed watching the children sing and dance and how they interacted. The parents were so happy to see their children up there performing and I am very, very happy to see the parents involved as much as they are now. I, I'm very proud of them because they're learning a different, uh, another language. I mean, they already have three languages, Spanish, English, and Portuguese. We're showcasing our students' current curriculum uh, where they're learning a third language here as most of our students are already bilingual with English and Spanish. They're learning Brazilian Portuguese uh, as far as their colors, numbers, uh, basic turn of phrase, and conversational Portuguese. We're also teaching geography, history, you name it, they're learning here. It's part of the brand new curriculum that we have going on here at the River City Boys and Girls Youth Club. Two children attend to Boys and Girls Club here in Rio Grande City. They are loving their program. Ever since we started learning another language here at the club is just awesome. It's something that not all of us can afford to pay other, <clears throat> other schooling. And right now is the perfect age where they're sponges and they're learning another language. It's just awesome. One thing that we are uh, showcasing here is the idea that this isn't just for fun. This is something that is an actual career skill. So when they leave high school, they leave college, they can put on their resumes that they are trilingual. So when they apply for those Fortune 500 companies, they will be able to say, because the Rio Grande City Boys and Girls Youth Club and my teachers there, we are trilingual and ask their new bosses how many languages do they know. This club has come a long way, and I'm very glad for the board, the staff, the parents, the children, Everyone that has put their effort, their time, their love, because I, I tell Michael, I tell the staff, you come in here and you feel it, you see it, the love. This is something that they do out of their heart. Now uh, with the students up here, um, I would like to say that um, students, we are very, very proud of you. Um, you all have really impacted uh, all our lives, starting from our director to the youth instructors here, uh, our board and members are fascinated by you. Um, we, you hold a very special place in our hearts. 